cop cop provisioned Wait, this is getting really annoying now. We have spent the last two nights in Koprivstitsa. It took me quite a while to be able to pronounce that name. Koprivstitsa. <laughs> I need to think stick. Koprov stitzer. Koprov stitzer stick. Koprov stick. Koprov stitzer. Maybe by the time we leave. Oh, I've got it right. We hired a car to get here and drove from Sofia and it took approximately two hours. Always a bit nerve wracking driving in a new country. We have driven in quite a few different countries before, but it never really gets any easier that first kind of half an hour. But everything's in the wrong side. The gear is to the right and I'm on the left. But I'm driving on the right. Oh, oh my god. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, in order to be able to drive on the national roads in Bulgaria, you have to purchase something called a vignette, which is like an electronic pass. And because we hired our car, we just paid a little bit extra and added it on to the car rental price. It wasn't a lot more. If you're not hiring a car though and you're bringing your own car, I believe that you can pa uh, purchase the vignette online. So it's a bit similar, I suppose, to like a toll um, charge. For built up areas, the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour and out with those areas it's 90 kilometers an hour and on the motorways it's normally around about 130 to 140 kilometers an hour but we probably won't be going quite as fast as that <laughs> we knew that for most of our time here it was unfortunately going to be raining and wet but when we first arrived it was dry so we decided to make the most of that and go for a walk up into the hills but first of all we went for some lunch because we were really hungry. Um, we have ordered some delicious looking soup. I'm so excited to try it. I've gone for beef and Ewan's gone for chicken. And I have ordered a beer and it's a little bit bigger <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to drink it all. But yeah, and we've also ordered um, chips and cheese because we couldn't resist and some bread. Oh, and there's a wee log fire going, and it's so nice. It's much colder here. Temperature has really dropped. So that restaurant was called Restaurant Bulgaria. It was beautiful. The food was top notch. The waitress was really nice and friendly. So definitely recommend that if you're coming to Kopr. Why can I not say this? Koprovstitsa. Koprov. Koprovstitsa. <laughs> you, you call it what you want to say. Koprovista. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so for all that, so we had the two soups, we had the bread, we had the cheesy uh, chips. We had a beer, we had a coke, and we had a coffee. Ewan had a coffee, I didn't. For all that, it came to 19 lev something. So the exchange rate's really good right now. So I'm guessing that's probably no more than eight pounds 50. No words. I know why it's called Path of Health. Because <sighs> you have to have good health to do this route. Woo! I don't think the beer I had with lunch is helping. <laughs> I 
I suddenly just remembered that there are bears in Bulgaria and I just suddenly wondered if there's any here and then I wondered if anyone's ever been killed by a bear in Bulgaria whilst out walking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe you could let us know in the comments below we are going to Bansko yeah that's got bears I know there's bears there but are there bears in Kop Koprovist Right, this is getting really annoying now. Uh, we've been walking for quite some time now. We had planned to just walk for an hour and then turn back, but I'm a bit like the kind of person that once I start something, I feel like I need to see it through. <laughs> and I'm not sure if this path is like a loop. I'm hoping it is, but I really don't know how much longer it's gonna go on for. But we're just gonna keep going for now. Um, and hopefully get back before it gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> We've just seen a tree with our familiar little flag thing on it. So I think we're still going in the right direction. There's a lot of cows surrounding us and I'm a little bit scared because a few nights ago I had a nightmare that a cow got out of the field and started chasing us. <laughs> And now I'm pretty much living that nightmare. <laughs> no, what the hell? I was about to say I really love the bells, it's so relaxing, <laughs> but I'm not feeling very relaxed after that noise. Let's get out of here. Pretty much at the end of the track now we're coming back to the village it's taken us approximately three three hours, three hours. Um, it was a really nice walk but our hands are getting cold now so we're gonna head back to our little guest house and get warmed up before dinner Koprostitsa offers lots of places to stay so we did a little bit of research beforehand and we eventually decided on this place Donna guest house behind me and you can go actually go horse riding I'm not sure we're gonna be able to because it's gonna be very wet tomorrow um, but I think that'd be really fun to do and yeah they're behind me having a little bit of a munch we booked bed and breakfast and so so reasonable the total cost came to approximately 124 lev which at the current exchange rate is about 55 pounds so that's 55 pounds for two people for two nights for bed and breakfast that is a bargain and it's been a really beautiful place to stay it's really cozy and um, staff are friendly the breakfasts are really tasty so if you are coming here i would definitely check this place out night we went for dinner. Unfortunately a few of the places that I'd kind of shortlisted were closed at the moment. I'm not sure if it's because it's during the week or because of Covid. I'm not quite sure why. But we found a little place anyway to have some food. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. All I'll tell you is that the number 20 is in the name. So 20. Um, we have ordered pork. We've ordered pork ribs and pork steak. So, and we've ordered homemade lemonades to drink. And that has obviously just been done on like a barbecue grill. And although 
there's no sauce or anything. You can really taste the kind of like the fact that it's just been made done on the grill. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. It's actually really nice. Meaty, succulent, tender. <laughs> Sound like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That was brilliant. I was worried it might be chewy. It wasn't. I was worried it might be fatty. It wasn't. It was so full of flavour. I'm so glad I got that. Uh, the good news is that there's room for dessert. This looks really good. It looks like a kind of custardy, creamy. And then we've got cinnamon on the top. <laughs> Wow. It's like a vanilla custard, really. Um, it's really nice because it's got little droplets of kind of fruit syrup as well. And it comes with vanilla ice cream. Mm. That is special. That is so good. <laughs> Wow, are we ever going to have a bad meal? <laughs> like, I feel like every meal we have is so good. Hmm. Pancakes really nice and light. Perfect with the jam. Made the right choice. I feel like I'm repeating myself with a lot of our meals. Like, just saying, oh, that's amazing, that's so good. But it really is. Like, we have been really lucky with our food choices because I wouldn't say we've had one meal in Bulgaria that has disappointed us. And what I love is just like trying new things and things that I wouldn't normally try. Like I wouldn't have ever gone for like pork back home. Um, but yeah, it's just so good. And these desserts are to die for. We're heading back to our little guest house now. Hopefully we'll have a really good night's sleep. It's nice and quiet, apart from some dogs barking, but hopefully they've gone to sleep now. But if you're coming um, here, then definitely check out this restaurant. Uh, I'm gonna put the um, links to all the places that we eat while we're here in the notes below. Unfortunately, our only full day here was extremely wet, so we weren't really able to kind of get out and experience the this place as much as we would have liked to. There's so many kind of cool little places to see, but it was just so, so wet, like literally torrential rain. So we just had a little quick wander and we also visited a museum. There's lots of museums here that you can go into and see. So we just picked one of them and had a little wander around, but unfortunately you weren't allowed to take cameras or take pictures. So we're not able to show you the inside of there. The historic town of Koprushtitsa lies 111 kilometers east of Sofia and retains the atmosphere of the Bulgarian Renaissance period of the 19th century. And it's here that you can see architectural monuments from that time, as well as an impressive collection of ethnographical artifacts, including national revival works of art, national costumes, household weaves and embroidery. The National Festival of Bulgarian Folklore has been held here every five years since 1965 and promotes Bulgarian folklore and singing and dancing from all over the country. We decided to escape the rain and head in for some lunch and we found a little restaurant, it's actually a little guest house slash hotel, um, called Family Hotel Chichura and we went in there for some lunch. chicken soup on a rainy day. <sighs> it's absolute torrential rain. We've been walking, our feet have got sodden. So I'm just wringing out my socks. <laughs> it really is so lovely here. I really like this guest house. It's, um, I'm glad we chose this place to stay actually. And can you imagine how beautiful this would be on a nice sunny day, just sitting here with a wee beer, a glass of wine, looking out onto this landscape. So nice with the horses in front of us. 
So that takes us to now. It is the morning. We are about to leave this lovely place and head back to Sofia. So we're sad to be leaving and we're also sad that we didn't get to see this place bathed in sunlight because I can imagine it would be absolutely stunning. However, there is actually something quite nice about it being cold and a little bit wet. It's meant that we've just been able to kind of curry into our little guest house and relax a little bit and eat really hearty food without feeling guilty about it. So definitely recommend visiting here if you do come to Bulgaria. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog and if you have if you've been to Koprov Koprov Shist <laughs> I thought I had it Koprov Shtitsa if you've been to Koprov Shtitsa let us know in the comments below let us know what you enjoyed here please subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying it and we will look forward to seeing you next week